All right, so stopped last night, which I'm glad I did because fell asleep, didn't even take a shower last night. That's how tired I was. So, um, yeah, so I took a shower this morning. Probably best time to take a shower is the odd times when everybody's driving. So also best time to take a poop, burn that shower credit, and have some privacy while you, you know, handle your business. But um, got here, got unloaded fairly quickly. Nice little system, you know. Like I said, it would have been great if I would have got here last night, but I was too freaking tired. It wasn't worth it driving, you know, for, for the next load. And I'm getting the same, I'm going to get the same load anyway. Only difference is I won't be able to deliver. I won't be able to make it there tonight. So what? But I'm picking up in Pageland some more lumber going to Frostproof, Florida. Uh, delivery for tomorrow, I believe, you know. So that's 500 bucks, $1,500. So... You do the math, you figure it out. You know, all these other loads been 400 bucks, not even $1,000, but I know shippers pay different, loads pay different for different lanes, for different commodities, this, that, another, blah, blah, blah. So, hey, take it with a grain of salt. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and head down to Pageland, uh, get loaded, uh, look for a truck wash on the way, get the truck wash, we'll be done with that, and then we'll be ready to deliver tomorrow, and we'll be in Florida. So, yeah, I'm not even gonna assume to grab anything from down there. Uh, you would think that I would, but with freight being short, I might drive all the way back to Jacksonville empty. Who knows? But worry about when we get to it. See you on the next one. strap since it's kind of set up kind of funny put a two inch over the x strap they loaded the best way they could uh, with it being mix match bundles if it's over too high you're supposed to belly but it's two pieces banded together so it looks like four but it's only two so put three straps on that alternate the straps two straps on that got three straps Better than I thought. I was expecting a whole lot worse, but it's not too bad. Guy was like, oh, you Cowboys fan, we're gonna take care of you. Like, dude, I was already next, so it don't even matter. So. But pretty decent load. I'm gonna get up out of here. Just by everybody that's out here is going to freaking frostproof. So it's like three TMC trucks get loaded, all three going to Palaka. So I said pretty square though. I said that's better than I expected. So, uh, next stop, truck wash. All right, I'm in line to get the truck wash. I'm on the naughty list. Two weeks without a wash. So, uh, when you don't get a wash, like if I want to get a wash uh, today or tomorrow, I'm pretty sure I'll get a message from my, uh, not the fleet manager, but, um, uh, the next one above that, you'll get an email saying, hey, what are your plans for your truck wash? Because if you don't get one, you will get routed to a truck wash from what I heard. I've only, it will happen to me one time and I told myself never again, but I put myself in a situation to where I got to get routed, you know, to get a truck wash. I was going to do it earlier this week. Not earlier this week, I think, um, last week, I think Thursday or Friday, but it was freaking pouring. Matter of fact, it was flash Friday. Uh, it was pouring real bad, so I mean, I didn't even stop me, because usually, that's when I'll go, is when it's raining. Uh, but um, it, was, it was just pouring too hard. So when I got ready to leave Saturday morning, the truck wash wasn't open, and I wasn't going to stick around for another hour or two to get the truck wash. And then this week, I think I passed uh, one truck wash, I kept putting it off, but now it's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, I'm gonna get it done. I'm in Brunswick, Georgia at the Blue Beacon. And it is one, two, there's a turtle up there, two, three, it's five trucks ahead of me. Got 
about three hours left on my clock. But I got to get this done and get off the naughty list. I didn't think this truck wash was on the list. But I was going to stop here anyway. You can use any truck wash to get your truck wash. All you got to do is let your fleet manager know and you keep the receipt. You get the cheapest wash. You can get extras, but TMC ain't going to reimburse it. Only thing they going to reimburse is just a regular wash. So every now and then, I think once a month I'll get the engine clean. I ain't doing it this month either. Um, I think the last couple of times I've gotten it, I take that back. The last time I got it out of Blue Beacon, uh, it wasn't done good. So I'm going to save that 10 bucks. So I'm going here, get the truck wash, get my credit, and continue with my mission and see how far I can get uh, by the time it's all said and done. I only have uh, work shift duty. So my duty time is getting ready to catch up with my drive time. So I only got two minutes of BS time until my drive time starts ticking away, which ain't really no big deal. I still have 269 miles, pretty much four hours. If I can drive uh, about another hour or so, I'll be fine. Just leave first thing in the morning when I get my time back. And my appointment's at 11 o'clock, so. Gotta get my Peter washed. It's just one of them things. Like I said, that's why I try to do it every week. I try to do it on a Sunday because if you do it on a Sunday, you actually get three weeks However, the system is somehow you're able to go three weeks without a wash instead of two, get it done during the week. So hopefully I get back on schedule doing it on Sunday, but then do it last Sunday, of course, because you know I left out Monday. But all right, let's get this thing washed.